हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू एलिवेट क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम दिव्य ज्योति दास और आज मेरे साथ आई हैव ए वेरी स्पेशल स्टूडेंट ऑफ माइंड ध्रुवा शर्मा कल ही जेस्ट का रिजल्ट आया था एंड ही हैज स्कोर्ड एन ऑल इंडिया रैंक ऑफ फोर्टीन इन जेस्ट फिजिकल साइंसेस तो दे फोर वी हैव इन्वाइटेड हेम टू एलिवेट क्लासेज टू हैव अ कॉन्वर्सेशन Uh, about his preparation, about his journey. Now, Dhruva is a very special student of mine because I know him for a very long time. Actually, मैं जब पहले कॉलेज में पढ़ाता था आई वॉज टीचिंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट हंसराज कॉलेज तो ध्रुवा वेन ही गॉट एडमिटेड टू हंसराज इन इज वेरी फर्स्ट ईयर आई केम टू नो अबाउट हिम बट आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट हिज जर्नी बिकॉज वॉट हैपन्ड इज दैट जब उसने फर्स्ट ईयर में एडमिशन लिया था ही एक्चुअली कुड नॉट कंटिन्यू दैट मतलब ग्रेजुएशन उस टाइम पे एंड ही टू ड्रॉप वन ईयर बिकॉज ऑफ सम रीजन्स एंड ही ड्रॉप वन ईयर एंड ही टुक री एडमिशन द वेरी नेक्स्ट ईयर सो बेसिकली ही लॉस्ट वन ईयर ठीक है उसके बाद ही गॉट एडमिटेड ही हैड थ्री ईयर्स ऑफ अंडर ग्रेजुएट कोर्स एंड आफ्टर थ्री ईयर्स ही आई थिंक एट द एंड ऑफ थ्री ईयर्स ही ऑल्सो गेव जैम एंड वेरियस एग्जामिनेशन बट उसमें ऐसा कुछ बहुत अच्छा स्कोर नहीं आया था सो वट ही डिड वॉज आफ्टर थ्री ईयर्स ही वॉज स्लाइटली नॉट वेरी श्योर कि क्या करना है आगे नहीं करना है एंड आई रिमेंबर ऑलमोस्ट ऑलमोस्ट टेन मंथ्स बैक ही कॉल मी एंड ही आस मी कि सर अब क्या करें वट शुड आई डू शुड आई प्रिपेयर शुड आई ड्रॉप अ ईयर एंड प्रिपेयर फॉर जैम प्रिपेयर फॉर वेरियस एग्जामिनेशन तो मैंने कहा कि देखो इट्स बेस्ट एट दिस सिनारी कि ड्रॉप करो और मेहनत करो बिकॉज ड्रॉप करने से ही तो कुछ नहीं हो जाएगा बट ड्रॉप करोगे तो एटलीस्ट यू कैन गिव इट वन मोर शॉट एंड फॉर्चुनेटली ही वर्क रियली हार्ड आई मीन ही ज्वाइंड एलिवेट क्लासेस अंडर मी और जून से लेकर के अब तक ही हैज बीन इन माय कॉन्टैक्ट पूरा उसने क्लासेस सारे करे ऑनलाइन मेरे साथ ही एंड आई हैव सीन दैट ही हैज़ वर्क रियली हार्ड और उस हार्डवर्क का जो फल है वो आज हमारे सामने है ही हैज स्कोर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक 14 इन जेस्ट फिजिकल साइंसेस तो सबसे पहले ध्रुवा वेलकम टू एलिवेट क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेश ऑन गेटिंग सच अ गुड स्कोर सो हाउ आर यू फीलिंग सर आई एम फीलिंग वेरी ग्रेट एंड वॉट अबाउट योर जर्नी जो मैंने अभी डिस्कस किया यू वेंट थ्रू सो मेनी अप्स एंड डाउन मतलब वट वुड यू से टू दो स्टूडेंट्स जो आज लेट सपोज किसने थर्ड ईयर करा एंड ही कुड नॉट गेट अ गुड रैंक इन जैम और जेस्ट और समवेयर एंड ही इज ऑल्सो प्लानिंग एंड ही इज थिंकिंग कि क्या मेरा एक साल बर्बाद होगा और वुड आई बी एबल टू अचीव समथिंग नेक्स्ट ईयर उन लोगों के लिए वट वुड यू से इट्स लाइक इफ यू आर वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट दैट यू यू नीड टू डू दिस यू वॉन्ट टू डू दिस देन ओनली यू शुड टेक अ ड्रॉप ईयर Uh, or else, like if you if you take a drop year and then you don't study well for uh, you don't prepare well, like you're getting distracted, uh, then like it won't be very much helpful because like if you if you took a step, you should follow it very like uh, with your utmost dedication, uh, and if you do so, then of course like you can achieve wonders with it. Mm. But the, I believe so that that. Uh, बट इम्पोर्टेंट ये है कि गैप ईयर में पढ़ना पड़ेगा एग्जैक्टली सर एग्जैक्टली जो तुमने हाँ, तीन साल में नहीं पढ़ा, नहीं पढ़ा वो गैप ईयर में तुम्हें हाँ, पढ़ना पड़ेगा सर सो लेट्स कम टू द प्रिपरेशन व्हेन डिड यू एक्चुअली स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन सो प्रॉपरली लाइक आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग फ्रॉम जून लेट जून एक्चुअली एंड देन सो इनिशियली इट टुक मी सम टाइम टू टू कम लाइक टू गो विद द फ्लो for for the first uh, for the first two months mm-hmm. uh, like things were very troublesome for me like i was not able to solve problems properly mm-hmm. and then uh, i could not like sit for a long time and then study properly i i i got distracted very easily mm-hmm. so i had to face those troubles and but then the thing was that i uh, like it was stuck on my mind that i need to do these things i need to like secure a seat for my masters mm-hmm. so somehow i stayed disciplined and uh, later on like after maybe 2 3 months mm. uh, things were going good mm. i was uh, like i was revising whatever whatever uh, teachers taught me at elevate at the beginning i only used to like uh, read from the notes mm. uh, later on i started uh, like making my own short notes type of thing mm. uh, which are not very lengthy but that was concise mm. uh, like whatever topics uh, i needed uh, i like I so I wrote down those things properly formula uh, it was kind of formula sheet also and the main thing is that uh, problem solving is very important mm. uh, because that uh, like if you if you're good in your theory it is not sufficient enough uh, to crack these exams you need to have that uh, 
problem solving mentality i would say like uh, because you you should know uh, what like how to approach the question uh, mm-hmm. in what manner you should like approach so that uh, you don't end up giving a lot of time to a particular question pyqs are very important mm-hmm. uh, because if you do the pyqs properly uh, then you you get to know like what kind of questions are being asked in the exam yes. uh, you develop an idea regarding that and mm-hmm. uh, you also get to know like the from where should you start so is me like can you tell us how much time did it take for you to complete the syllabus once uh properly sir to complete the whole syllabus mm. uh i did it in my january first week or late december you can late say december. yeah late december so you started in june yeah and you finished the whole syllabus once by late, late december, december or january first yes sir so it almost took 6 months 6 months yes but that too was like i would say if you want to really like achieve a very good rank in this exam you should start early the you more you start, start early. early it's beneficial for you only uh, i would say that from your third year mm-hmm. you should start you should start preparing for it mm-hmm. um, because it's it's just because it the syllabus is it's huge syllabus like, is huge yeah. yes. so if you see like there are seven different subtopics mm-hmm. uh, in the jam syllabus uh, just me i guess you have six uh, three uh, two two to- topics are merged into one topic only mm-hmm. so to cover those topics thoroughly uh, you need to like devote a good amount of time mm-hmm. for this and at the same time you have to do problem solving you have to practice questions you have to revise keep mm-hmm. on revising so that you don't forget things mm-hmm. if you like if you keep uh, if you like do it like this way that first you complete this thing uh, first you complete quantum mechanics then you go to mechanics but you don't if you don't practice quantum mechanics then you'll forget after some time so you should keep this in mind that uh after maybe like one week or maybe like two week you come back to the topic you have studied revise it once again uh maybe very concisely you can do it practice some questions so that you are in touch with that thing hmm so sabse pehle to ye hai ki those who are preparing for this particular examination they should start the preparation as early as possible hai na bahut bachche aise hote hai they will start in october or november and december and then they will hope to get a good rank yes. which is quite unrealistic unless you are like exceptionally talented or graduation syllabus mein aapka command bahut hi acha hai it's very unrealistic to expect ki aap preparation start hi karoge october november mein and february mein exam mein aur aap wahan pe bahut acha rank lekar ke aaoge so as dhruba has said he started his preparation in june to so whoever is preparing for either jam examination or jest examination or tifr it's better to start your preparation as early as possible kyunki syllabus bahut bada hota hai aur syllabus khatam karna hi zaruri nahi hai you have to do revision also right he finished his syllabus in december he revised entire january you know he you made two revisions i think yes, almost sir, yes, sir. and then wahan pe problem solving bhi aa jata hai problem solving ka jo bada sa challenge hai you have to go through the previous years questions you have to uh, attempt those questions you have to develop the skill ki questions ko kare kaise theek hai sabse pehle to you finish the syllabus then you develop your concepts then you apply those concepts to problem solving to ye kafi lamba journey rehta hai so it's better that you start as early as possible to so in terms of like hours how many hours you you should devote to the preparation uh sir there was like uh, it was kind of uncertain thing but i made one thing sure that uh, at least minimum 4 hours on own self study time I'll, i'll i'll devote it so minimum 4 hours is yeah. the self study yeah, self apart study. from so you are classes. elevate me uh, you are doing classes we yeah. used to have like 3 yeah. hours of classes every yeah. day yeah. so you used to attend the 3 hours of classes and yeah. apart from that 4 hours of self study yes sir so like 7 hours you are studying yes sir. completely every yes, day sir. yes sir so you have to do that over a period of 6 months yes sir to even hope to finish the syllabus and develop some confidence on the subject or in terms of like any kind of tips during the preparation like you make your short notes and you make formula sheets so that revision ke time pe you can go through that what do hmm. you say hmm. so uh, short notes and formula sheets it's very important during your revision tenure yeah. because at that point of time you cannot go back to like uh, the previous uh, notes and you start to find where where this topic was there like that thing mm-hmm. so you uh, to avoid all these things you should you should have a thorough concise short notes mm-hmm. and uh, formula sheets mm-hmm. so that you uh, keep on looking the formulas Uh, and it it gets stuck on your head mm-hmm. a lot of time what happens is when you are under pressure you tend to forget things and uh, f- and as i if you remember sir i used to ask you that um, like 
how to how to like memorize all these formulas and all yeah, because yeah. there's a huge bunch of formulas <laughs> yes, and yes. then it's kind of uh, impossible task i always i always felt that I'll, i forgot this formula i forgot this formula uh-huh. so uh, whenever i felt that kind of thing i quickly i quickly opened my formula sheets uh-huh. and then uh, i just like had a glance of the formula mm-hmm. i kept on thinking about it and mm-hmm. then uh, eventually during a time of exam mm-hmm. uh, these things comes to your mind automatically if you're not stressed if you're not stressed yes, so let's go to that next thing basically what happened is that dhruva also scored all india rank 196 in physics iit jam jo february mein hua tha and then later on the jest examination he scored all india rank 14 so why this difference dhruva can sir. we talk about that yes sir. yeah sir so uh, during my jam exam uh, uh-huh. what happened that Uh, my exam timing was from 2:30 p.m. to uh, 5:30 p.m. Hmm. but due to some technical error in my uh, uh, in my center huh. exam started very late it like was like 2 hours late almost 2 hours to 2 hours so 30 minutes it was supposed to start at 2:30, 2:30. but it started at 4:30 uh, yes sir past 4:30 you can say past 4:30 it started 4:30, yes, so you have sir. to wait for 2 3 hours yes sir for the yes, exam sir. to start yes sir ah, yes sir okay okay and also i did not like uh, Uh, keeping in mind that my exam is at two thirty, I just uh-huh. had a little bit of food uh, uh-huh. because exam center was not very far away from my place. Uh-huh. Uh, And th- how did that affect your mindset, sir? I was like very anxious about like during that time. Uh-huh. I was like waiting: will I be able to give my exam or not? Mm. Uh, will I get proper time, mm. proper th- three hours to solve that thing? Mm. And plus, the thing is that. Uh, Uh, whenever I did my practice papers, this previous year question papers, mm. uh, during that time I uh, I used to practice uh, like I used to appear in those papers di- from two thirty to five thirty, mm. so that I get accustomed to that time Time-timing. timing. Okay. This thing when uh, when when uh, like uh, during that course of time I was mm. like very anxious and then uh, did it affect your examination? Yes, sir. Like uh, since I was already mentally exhausted huh. during that time, huh. uh, I could not like. Wholly utilized three hours of time. Huh. By by two and a half hours, uh, I was not able to like solve any more questions. Uh. If I if I look at if I look at a question, I just like could not solve it. Somehow I don't know what happened. So so this affected your performance. Yeah. And exam. also I did a lot of silly mistakes. Uh, uh, since I was not fully uh, in your proper mindset. Yes, for proper an mindset. Exam. So because थोड़ा effect हो गया ना because exactly. exam postpone हो गया दो घंटा दो घंटा तो suddenly mm. it affects your mind because you mm. are in a certain mindset to go mm. and give an examination mm. और because of technical reasons जब postpone हो जाता है तो you get anxious you mm. get restless mm. और finally जब तुम वहाँ पे जाते हो then there are so many things going on in your head mm. है ना हो सकता है खाना नहीं खाया पानी नहीं पिया exactly. and your body is not in the perfect position and वो पूरा छः महीने का जो preparation है ठीक mm. है prepare तो किया but mm. ultimately mm. वो performance का time तो तीन घंटे का है ना mm-hmm. and if you make a mistake of couple mm-hmm. of questions पांच मार्क्स इधर उधर हो जाते तो रैंक में बहुत फर्क आ जाता है एंड वी कैन सी दैट इन द जैम रैंक बिकॉज़ आई वाज एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट यू वुड बी इन द टॉप 100 बट कोई नहीं जेस में ही स्कोर ए आई आर 14 तो जेस में क्या फर्क रहा कंपेयर टू द जैम एग्जाम सर जेस में आई वाज वेरी काम एंड फ्री माइंडेड ओके इट वाज लाइक आई जस्ट नीड टू गिव माय बेस्ट ड्यूरिंग द एग्जाम एंड लाइक लेट्स सी व्हाटएवर हैपेंस एंड Just me, I did not do any silly mistake. I just did one single mis- silly mistake. Okay. But then it's fine. One or two mistakes are fine. It happens with everyone. Okay. Uh, but that was the main uh, turning point in my just exam. Mm. I was very calm and very free minded, and uh, like that was the best part. Uh, and even I enjoyed writing the exam. Okay. Because uh, it was like whatever I know, I'll just write. Mm. I don't need to care for anything because I am not uh, like it's not like. कि आई नीड टू डू दिस आई नीड टू गेट दिस रैंक इट वाज नॉट लाइक दैट ऑफ टाइप ऑफ सिचुएशन थोड़ा सा माइंड फ्री था यस सर आई वाज वेरी फ्री यस सर ओके सो दिस दिस हैड अ ह्यूज इंपैक्ट इन माय स्कोर दिस हैड अ ह्यूज इंपैक्ट यस सर सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई थिंक मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स विल प्रोबेबली फेस यस सर लाइक इफ यू आर अंडर एक्सट्रीम प्रेशर अगर बहुत ज्यादा आप लोड ले रहे हो बहुत टेंशन ले रहे हो देन दैट इज गोइंग टू अफेक्ट योर परफॉर्मेंस इन द एग्जामिनेशन जैसा ध्रुव के साथ जैम में हुआ बिकॉज ऑफ वट एवर रीजन एग्जाम पोस्टपोन हो गया यू आर नॉट इन द राइट माइंड यू आर एंशियस यू मेड एक्सट्रीम सिली मिस्टेक्स तो उसकी वजह से रैंक थोड़ा कम आ गया बट फॉर्चुनेटली फॉर वट एवर रीजन जेस के टाइम पे यू आर वेरी फ्री फ्रीली गिविंग द एग्जामिनेशन एंड यू गोट एन एक्सिलेंट रैंक तो पूरा प्रेपरेशन का जो फायदा है वो तभी होगा जब एग्जाम के टाइम पे आप परफॉर्म कर पाओगे एंड देयर फॉर गिविंग द एग्जाम विद द राइट माइंड विद अ काम कूल माइंड 
writing everything properly, avoiding any kind of silly mistakes is also very important for your exam preparation. All right, so now we discuss karte, like, what are your future plans? Matlab, where do you want to go and what do you want to do in the future? Uh, sir, currently I am thinking that I'll pursue my masters, masters. from IIT Guwahati. Okay. Uh, so why I'm, IIT Guwahati? Any reason? Uh, sir, it's just that it's near my home. You are from Guwahati itself. I'm from Guwahati He's from itself. Guwahati. So IIT Guwahati is near his house. Yes, yeah. sir. And then uh, IITs, uh, IITs, from IITs, I heard that uh, you get very good opportunities to go to foreign abroad. institutions. Okay. Yes, sir. So you want to do PhD from abroad? Yes, sir. Okay. Right now, I'm in that mindset. Okay. Uh, okay. So later, I don't know what will happen. Koi baat nahi. At least you have a goal in mind. Yes, sir. Baadne, when you go to masters, you will see new things. You will yes, your sir. your experience will decide what you are going to do later on. Yes, sir. But at least uh, this is something that you are planning to. Now, ek cheez jo hai, I am coming back to the first or original point. You went through a lot of ups and downs during your graduation. Yes. है ना मतलब अंडर ग्रेजुएट में फर्स्ट ईयर का भी एक लॉस हुआ फॉर वट एवर रीजन थर्ड ईयर के बाद एक साल ड्रॉप करना पड़ा तो बहुत बच्चे ऐसे होते हैं हु आर गोइंग थ्रू सम और सम पर्सनल इश्यूज सम टेंशन सम डिप्रेशन एंजाइटी जिसकी वजह से उनका परफॉर्मेंस बहुत ज़्यादा इफेक्ट हो जाता है देर आर लॉट ऑफ गुड स्टूडेंट्स जो स्कूल के टाइम पे दे परफॉर्म रियली वेल दे बट लेकिन कॉलेज के टाइम पे आने के बाद फॉर वट एवर रीज़न मे बी ट्वेल्थ के बाद कहीं सिलेक्शन नहीं हुआ या सिलेक्शन हुआ भी तो कुछ घर में इशूज़ चल रहे या ग्रेजुएशन के बाद कहीं सिलेक्शन नहीं हुआ उसकी वजह से डिप्रेशन हो गया देट दो गो थ्रू लॉट ऑफ अप्स एंड डाउन मेंटली तो एंड आई हैव सीन दैट यू हैव ऑल्सो गॉन थ्रू दैट टू सम डिग्री बट यू फाइनली ओवर केम दैट और ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स टू एट मंथ्स आपने बहुत ज़बरदस्त प्रिपरेशन करा एंड देन फाइनली यू केम आउट अ विनर तो वट वी डू लाइक टू से टू दो स्टूडेंट्स जो भी सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ पर्सनल इश्यूज से गुजर रहे हैं एंड दे डोंट हैव द मोटिवेशन कि मैं करूं क्या आगे जा करके अगले साल मैं क्या एग्जाम निकाल सकता हूं कैन आई आल्सो प्रिपेयर फॉर दिस एग्जामिनेशन सो व्हाट विल यू से टू दो स्टूडेंट्स सर इट्स ऑल अबाउट लाइक यू नीड टू आस्क यूर सेल्फ वट डू यू वॉन्ट विथ योर लाइफ दैट इज द मेन क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू आस्क यूर सेल्फ इट्स बिकॉज दैट इफ यू आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन इन द सब्जेक्ट और लाइक you are interested somewhere else i would i would say that you should follow that thing mm-hmm. uh now personally i knew that uh, i wanted to do physics mm-hmm. uh i decided this when i was in class 11 or maybe class 10 i don't remember exactly well but that during that time only mm-hmm. and uh never ever like i felt this subject is not for me mm-hmm. uh, so you need to ask yourself if you are really willing to prepare uh, like prepare uh, like prepare for the subject you were interested in interested in, in uh, then you should devote to that examination yes, at least 6 to 8 months yes a minimum that that's the that's the bare minimum you need to do hmm. uh, forget everything else baki sab cheezon ko bhul jao पहले क्या हुआ था भूल जाओ वट हैपन इन योर पास भूल जाओ ये भूल जाओ कि कॉलेज में यू आर एबल टू परफॉर्म और नॉट परफॉर्म हो सकता है फॉर सम रीजन यू आर नॉट एबल टू परफॉर्म इन योर कॉलेज एग्जामिनेशन वो सब कुछ भूल जाओ एंड डिवोट योर सेल्फ टू योर प्रेपरेशन फॉर सिक्स टू एट मंथ्स बिकॉज एक बार आप डिवोट कर दोगे तो यू विल गेट रिजल्ट एंड एंड ऑल्सो आई लाइक टू से दैट इट्स नॉट लाइक यू नीड टू कंपेयर योर सेल्फ विद समन एल्स येस यू नीड टू डू बेटर देन वट यू आर डूइंग yesterday yes. or maybe like before yes so you should keep that in mind that you need to be a better person than what you are today what you are today yes sir excellent excellent so don't compare yourself with others yes sir compare yourself with what you were yesterday yes sir and then try to make progress from there kyunki sabka journey unique hai yes sir sabka journey apna apna journey hai so that is all for today uh, thank you so much shubha thank for you, giving these valuable information and hamari taraf se from elevate classes from all the teachers at elevate classes Uh, best wishes for your future thank you thank you, thank you so much aur uh, mujhe i hope that uh, the students who are watching this got some valuable information and if somebody is thinking of planning for these examinations then beta mehnat karna shuru kar do kyunki if you are going to devote yourself 6 to 8 months for this examination to pehle jo bhi hua bhul jao us cheez ko you are going to clear any one of these examinations and you are also going to come back to uh, you know your career path so that is all for today thank you so much thank you drubha